you know, as Juan mentioned earlier, yes, pro wrestling is part of the things uh, that we talk about that's nerd related. Because, hey, we have nerds that like wrestling. You do. I yes. do. To a degree, Angel does. He's more I enjoy the good old ultra violence. And if he happens to be surrounded by theatrics, then that's just all the same out of the of course, of course. And there is Holy an cow. audience. There is a nerd audience out there that watches wrestling. But of course, when it comes to pro wrestling, the first thing that immediately pops into everyone's mind by default is, of course, the WWE. Of course, yep. The WWE yes. is a growing uh, multi million dollar publicly traded company that has its hands on every project that, is, that involves entertainment, not just professional wrestling, but also in every aspect of entertainment. We've discussed enough in detail in the past about how they have a chokehold on the third party contents from all of their wrestlers, but they also are involved in other projects. They have their own films, they have their own line of films, they, animated movies. They, 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 they have a music, they had a music label, SmackDown Records, for the express purpose of licensing their own like professional wrestlers as entrance music. Yep. Which, which is like, which is crazy, meaning that like if you play anything like if you play the freaking the glass shattering of stone cold steve austin you better believe they're gonna come knocking on your door and with their hand out and you're gonna have to pay them a couple bucks pretty much they're uh, stupid like that and of course they also have a current deal with peacock where they now have all of their uh all their network exclusive content yes even in the past they have an extensive library that's now available on peacock and so hey, what very nice with everything that they have their hands on for entertainment, you're probably asking yourself, how come there isn't an anime? No. No, no one's asking so, right? that. Well, too bad. No one's asking yeah, about I am. that. No, I am. I'm asking that right now. <laughs> Why are we <laughs> well, too bad, because we're getting it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Why? The fuck on. In, a, in an exclusive... In a recent report, um, the WWE content is now coming to, uh, like, new WWE content is coming to Peacock. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. This is not it. I'm looking you, for Crunchyroll. Come on. Yeah, okay. Like, shit, you're not. They got together with Crunchyroll. Freaking Crunchyroll. Here we what? go. I gotta look this up. Hang on. All right. Crunch, yep. Oh, on, off of uh, comicbook.com. No, comicbookresources.com. WWE and Crunchyroll team up for an original anime series. Yes, indeed. We were making jokes about this years ago. What the fuck? But now it's coming to fruition. WWE is teaming up with anime streaming giant Crunchyroll for an all-new anime series, though details on the project remain under wraps at this time. Let's see here. What? The the news comes in the aftermath of a call amongst company investors, and it's unclear if the anime will be completely original or if it will draw upon the incredible library of WWE characters at the company's disposal. Oh my god. No! This is going to be ultimate muscle, but with real life people. We, okay, where somebody called Vince, he owes us a paycheck. We were discussing (laughs) this years ago, and that son of a bitch heard us somehow. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of hyped. I, I want to see this, but also, wow. But also, why? Now, the this, real question, why? why? Now, this can why work, and, and there are WWE superstars who are known nerd anime enthusiasts, including uh, the members of the New Day, Big E, Kofi, and Xavier Woods. Was Xavier the, Woods. Of course, the, they the, the Budio guys. Yeah, the fucking guys. nerds. Of uh, course, they would get into this. Also, uh, 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 former Raw Women's Champion Asuka and, w- and former WWE Champion, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Wow. Yeah, they we are weebs. literally weaves. got the weebs character. Of course. Oh, I mean, we should have known, of course. Now, God what do you call it? it? Um... Like wasn't uh, the the isn't uh, what's his face? No 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 not Seamus. Who was I thinking of? No not Daniel. Fuck no. There were a bunch of weebs in the WWE. Uh, oh, what's yeah, her no. face? Becky Lynch. Yeah. Wasn't she yes. like gigantic weeaboo of doom? She was. Yeah. I was going. I was is. going to say Xavier Woods, but we said that already. We've already One of his that. fucking things before he joined in a group. Um, when Xavier Woods was on his own, uh, he had his. He had his fucking uh, his tights themed after Power Rangers, and he had <laughs> nice. blue wristbands 
which should remind you of a certain super fucking Saiyan hit, like whipping the shit out of people. Wow. And when he's about to fucking wow. uh, like power up for his next move, he would shout, it's morphin' time. So yeah, there's some weep shit going on up in there this. There are some weep shit. Now on the one hand, this is new grounds and this and new grounds. This equals- ain't new grounds. New grounds is dead. And well, I'm talking about Oof, new territory. And new ter- and and I went there. Yeah, I know you did. And new territory equals excitement. Because, hey, I can't wait to see how this uh, turns out. But at the same time, this is also the WWE. And let's say they're uh, royally enter- stupid. They're royally stupid when yes. it comes to their entertainment content that's, that, that has nothing to do with live wrestling. See, in a perfect world, they would just throw the money at Crunchyroll and let them do their thing. But you can't really trust Crunchyroll much to do anything nowadays by themselves, especially considering what happened with certain recent projects of them. So honestly, I don't know what's going to happen because on one hand, we got the management of Crunchyroll and on the other hand, we got Vince. Vince McMahon, who is a major fucking idiot. But on the we, other hand, they have other people the, who aren't idiots. Which one is the worst of two evils? Now, this yeah, like, project was the worst of two evils. Yes. Now, this project was announced d- during the uh, during the quarter uh, d- the during, quarterly investor the call, which is investor on call. Thursday. Yep. According to uh, Nick Khan, here as a, a quote from him, he's one of the one of the corporate uh, executives of the WWE. The Nick president Khan. Of, Who the hell is this? The Nick president Khan. of the WWE says oh, a multi-episode shit. anime series will be airing on Crunchyroll streaming platform. And I quote: "As we continue to expand WWE's brand beyond the ring." We remained focused on developing the slate of original programming from WWE Studios. We sold a multi-episode Ooh. anime series to Crunchyroll, which is now owned by Sony. I gotta say, let me turn on the lights. It's getting a little dark in here. Yeah, there I was go. gonna say because last week, like you went like pitch black and like, okay, so are you going to lead hacksaws us through the show? Crawling no. in my crawl. So it does. Yeah. So I guess it makes sense to to make this kind of announcement during the earn, uh, during the er, earnings call, as because uh, usually around this time, this is where That's they where the WWE report their numbers and they also talk about what the hell we're gonna do with our money. Yep. Uh, this is uh this is uh, also if you remember last week we were discussing the whole bit of them like oh they fired ten fucking wrestlers that yeah, folks were saying they that they weren't a bunch of talents. That, that folks were saying like, oh, well, these guys aren't drawing any money or whatever. But this actually comes at hot off the heels of it. Can, may I talk about Mickey James? Go right ahead. Do you remember Go how? Ahead, I, man. Do you remember how I showed you last week the picture of the beautiful Mickey James, the, the 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 veteran wrestler who has been in and out of the WWE for years? You remember I showed you a picture of her? Yeah, yeah, she looked fantastic even over time. Oh yeah, no, okay. There was some bullshit that went down. On this, so you better believe that, uh, the, like, after her firing, so you better believe that the, uh, that the WWE is trying to press whatever sort of public announcement that they possibly can to get their attention away from this. Go ahead, Jose, and pull up Mickey James's Twitter profile, if you would. Oh. 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 Yeah. Hang on a second, guys. Hang on a second. Let me pull it up. This should be good. Okay. You're going to love this. Angel, I know, you'd, uh, I know that you've got Twitter, so go ahead and look her up. Mickey, M-I-C-K-I-E. Let's James, Mickey right. James Aldis, this like this shit went down last week before their quarterly. All earnings. right, here we go. Mickey I found James, the t- I found Mickey the tweet. James, can, I, can I read the original, please? This is such There's bullshit. A lot of Mickey James here. So you're gonna have to. Help All right, me. I found it's, it. Don't it's... worry about it. Well, I'll send you the screenshot. Well, but this was dated. Do. Uh, but this was dated on April 22nd, the same day as the conference call. It says, "Dear Vince McMahon, I'm not sure if you're aware. I did receive my WWE care package today. Thank oh, you." Oh shit. Hashtag always blessed and grateful. Hashtag women's wrestling matters with a kiss at the end. And the picture Damn. that she shows, I kid you not. I just sent it to you on Messenger. Go ahead and pull it up, Angel. Go ahead and pull it up so you can see it. Give me a second so I can open up this. How many times do I need for one thing? Give me a second here. All right, there he is. The care package. Wow. Yeah. (laughs) It's a picture of a trash bag in a box with a duct tape label with the name Mickey written on it. Got this. Fucking Christ. It was such bullshit. It it's was basically like her belongings and some stuff that they wanted her to have as they fired her. And you better believe 
that that got everybody royally and righteously pissed did off. Did they honestly and think it, this was not going to backfire in the worst way possible? And it reached to the point where even the top executives got involved. Triple H addressed oh. an issue, uh, addressed the issue about this, and he took immediate action. Uh, Wrestling Inc. Has, rep has reported that the WWE has fired Senior Director of Talent Relations Mark Carano, uh, oh, uh, damn. Uh, who was the guy responsible. And he... And so, yeah. yeah. They issued a public apology. Stephanie McMahon issued a public apology. Vince McMahon hasn't said jack shit. He hasn't said jack old. shit. But, he, but uh, Triple H did tweet it out on the same day of the firing. Upon learning of the disrespectful treatment some of our recently released talent received on behalf of the company... We took immediate action. The person responsible for this inconsiderate action has been fired and is no longer with the WWE. Oh! Okay, Damn. Angel. One little thing. I Damn. Know that just to put you into perspective about who this guy Mark Carano is, he has been in the... Uh, in, in the, like the office world of the WWE in talent relations for ages, he was there when CM Punk was fired. He was there, wow, like trying to like, wasn't he the one who was trying to convince Punk to uh, Punk to wrestle while he uh, it was in uh, on vacation or something or what? Well, yes, like, Mark yeah. Carano was getting away with a lot of shit, and after his firing, a lot of uh, professional wrestlers who used to be part of the WWE were coming out with their own stories. It's so ridiculous. So you better believe that the WWE is trying to grasp any sort of news they can to distract people from the fact that, oh, wait, by the way, we still treat our wrestlers <laughs> like monkeys. Like shit. Yep. Even after they're no longer our wrestlers, we still consider them subhuman scum. Like, okay, okay. In the age of the internet, how <laughs> in the hell do you think this is a good idea? <laughs> like this... Anyone with a working brain would go, okay, here's her benefits, put them in a box, mail her, wash her hands, we're done. This was premeditated. Some douche literally thought this would be a good idea. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Because the co the company whose reputation now drags through the mud like a child with no legs is going to show up and start giving the middle finger to people who are not... What the this is for far stupid. This is what we consider by normal standards a violation of common sense. However, Mickey James seems to be taking it well. In a recent uh. tweet, she actually, uh, uh, she actually addressed uh, the uh, situation and put out this story. And I quote, I would like to address this one last time. Then we can all move on. I have so many amazing things on the horizon. The last thing I desire is to have any of that tainted with ugliness and negativity. I take zero pride or joy in the fact that someone would lose their job ever, especially someone I considered a friend. I am confident that Vince and the McMahons had no idea that this is how we were sent packing. It hurt a fragile me much more 10 years ago when my belongings arrived on my doorstep because WWE was my everything. I've grown as a woman and, I, and, a, and a person as much as we all have in the business. I am stronger today than I've ever been and smart enough to know that it wasn't a deliberate attack on me. However, the symbolism cannot be denied. I am sorry that a thoughtless and tone-deaf act would cost anyone their job, but I am not sorry that I had the courage to ensure it will never happen to anyone else moving forward. So if that's my final mark in this company moving forward, I am okay with that. When I first started in this business, one of the best pieces of advice I received was, just leave the business better than you found it, kid. And that has always been my ultimate goal. I love you all so much. I am legitimately grateful for my time at WWE and thoughtful of my and thought uh, and throughout my whole career. I am looking forward to everything that is next. I truly hope you are too, and perhaps you will join me. Sincerely and humbly yours, Mickey Laurie James Aldis. Okay, this bitch has got class. <laughs> no, dude, very impressive. Handled very, that very, very nice. Yes. Got, you see why? Uh, you see why I got a uh, got the hots for her. You see that not only is this she like a total stands. babe, but she's got class. She's a classy woman, and I'm just like, Mwah. okay, yeah. yeah. She did everything right on this bitch. She did everything right in this. She world. did everything right, and the WWE did their part to fire the people who were handling these type of uh, procedures following the releases of talent. <laughs> And I'm just I I'm know just I, in my head. I know we can't dis, we can't discount the possibility that the McMahons didn't and Triple H didn't know about this. 
Of course but they didn't still, know. Wow. You got to remember, these are the bozos that don't know what the hell is going on under their own roof. Yeah. They just tell people to do shit, and they expect them to do it well when they realize they they hire assholes. Kind of makes you wonder. Kind of makes you uh, wonder about the uh, communication in the uh, in the upper infrastructure. Oh, there is no communication. There's the left hand, and then there's the right hand, and then there's Triple H with a hammer to break both hands, and Vince McMahon handing him bigger hammers every day to break even more hands. That's the communication. But